In today's tutorial, we'll be learning how to make paracord wrapped hex nut beglary. Hey, what's going on guys? Tim here again. So the DIY hex nut beglary has returned and this I gotta say is probably the most attractive set you can make um, for yourself for very cheap if you want to get into um, playing with beglary and you don't want to spend money on a you know, uh, professionally made set. This is the um, around square Herc uh, Hercules Beglary. So these are super cool. More on that later if you guys want to hear about it. But anyways, this is what we're doing today. Um, paracord wrapped hex nuts and a separate joiner cord. That's pretty awesome. This is not my um, idea. I got to credit uh, Main Stringing. Uh, you can check out his Instagram feed. I'll link it down below. Um, awesome Beglary player and also makes a lot of really cool stuff in terms of Beglary and other skill toys. A uh, very creative individual. So uh, feel free to check out his Instagram profile. Um, yeah, this is a really nice set. I love it. Um, definitely something I'll be carrying and playing with all the time. And uh, not too hard to make either. So that's what we're doing today. So remember guys, if you're looking for paracord and all that good stuff, you can uh, find all the links in the description box down below. And again, huge thank you to my uh, Patreon patrons for this month. You guys are making a huge difference. I've uh, got the exclusive tutorial for this month coming out next week very soon, so keep your eyes peeled for that. And uh, yeah, remember if you want access to exclusive giveaways and tutorials, you can check out my Patreon page. So that being said, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so to start off this uh, paracord wrapped hex nut bag layer, I've got my hex nuts here. I'll put the exact size, of course, in the video here. And um, they're just, you know, stainless steel hex nuts. And I've got my paracord, the gutted paracord. I've uh, taken the inner guts out. You know, you just clip both ends and then yank out the guts. And then all I did was with the end, um, I'm using my um, type two fid. So it's the um, mid-size fid, just because it'll be a little bit easier to get through the uh, middle. So it's slightly smaller. And then I just took a lighter and um, I just kind of just melted this part here a bit. So I just took a lighter to it, just roasted it a bit, and then um, just got it to a point, as you can see here. So now I can get this onto my fid a lot easier because this is a smaller fid. Okay, so that's all the preparation I had to do. So now let's get those out of the way. We just need our first two. Here is how we're going to get this paracord on. So we're gonna start by passing the paracord through the hex nuts. So just do it, do this like so. Okay. Now leave just a little bit coming out the bottom. And then we're going to come back down and loop it through again. Okay. So again, through the bottom and out the top. Make sure there's no twists in your paracord because it's now flat. It's going to want to twist. Okay. So we've got this loop around like so. And you can kind of see where I'm going with this. Now we're gonna come back down, like here. And you're just gonna do this six times, see? Just wrap it around those hex nuts. Okay, and try to get um, each pass as tight as possible. You'll get, you can tighten it more, the more passes you do. Okay, so let's do continue. And just go from each side. So one, two, three. Just keep going all the way through. And make sure the paracord lies flat with each flat side of the hex nut.
Okay, and there we go. So I've done five sides, and now we've come to the end part here. This is one side remaining. Now this is going to be the tricky part. We're going to see how these uh, two strands here match up. We're going to cut the paracord right here where my, where my uh, fingers are pinching between my index and thumb, and then you're going to melt them together. Okay, so I think we can cut them like right here. Don't cut it too short because they need to match up. And when you melt, that's going to reduce a bit of the amount. So I'm going to cut it about there and then I'm going to melt them together. So I've just cut the uh, paracord as you can see, and I think I did a pretty good cut and they're going to match up pretty well. So now we're going to melt this paracord with my lighter and then I'm going to really quickly press it together. Be very careful when you do this part because you could uh, burn yourself. Um, I like to just melt it and then kind of lick my fingers and then press them together. So here we go. Okay, so not too bad. Um, there's the join there. It's pretty clean. Yeah, it could be a little better, but I'll probably do better on the next one. So um, what you could do is also just melt it a little bit more, and then um, we'll take our any tool with knurling on it and just press it down so it matches up a bit nicer. Okay, there we go. That's not too bad. That'll be on the bottom of the bead anyway. So um, we're gonna pass our paracord through the top. You won't really notice it. So that's one done. And um, now that that's finished, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna repeat the process with our blue. I'm doing a different color. You don't. You can do whatever color you want. That's a great thing about this. Super customizable. So I'm just gonna repeat the same process with the color blue. Okay, so my paracord wrapped hex nut beads are done. All that we gotta do now is do our join, joiner cord. I've got my cord on a fid here. I'm using this nice diamond cord. Uh, what we're gonna do actually first, just to make it easier, we're gonna tie the, um, the stopper knot on one end. So we're gonna do that by just take your one end of your paracord. You're going to wrap it around your finger. So you have like an X there, okay? And then take your finger out, and then pass that end underneath the X and through. Okay, this is the usual um, stopper knot that most Beglary players will use to tie on the ends of their 550 or 275 on the end of each bead. You can tie a um, rain, uh, what's that, uh, like a button knot or Celt Celtic button knot if you want. Um, it's up to you or just a simple overhand knot, whichever one you want. Okay, so got that tied there. So uh, before you feed your paracord through, um, if your knots are loose at all, like if these 
you find that these are moving too much and you don't like it, you can, um, it's totally optional, you can just dunk this into boiling water just for about 30 seconds. That's going to cause the paracord, paracord to shrink and it will tighten up everything uh, really nicely. Or you could do that after um, we string this up. So I'm still using my uh, type 2 FID, the thinner FID, because it's going to be hard to get the, um, the uh, 550 FID through there. So let's just put this through here. So that goes through all right. Okay, so that's one end. That's already looking nice. And now we'll go through this end. Remember, go through the top because this is going to be the bottom. Push that through. And there we go. Now um, we're going to tie the stopper knot again on this side. Okay, so again, we'll just do that real quick. Wrap it around your finger like so. Make that X. Take your finger out. Put that paracord through there. And then tighten that up. So in terms of um, string length, everyone has their preference. Um, whether you're playing long or short game. I like six and a half inches. In fact, that's a very um, average length. This is way longer than six and a half right now. But um, I'm going to do six and a half in between. So you can just adjust that by grabbing this piece here, you know, pulling the excess through. See that? And pull it shut and adjust your length. Okay, so I'm just going to adjust the length and clip off the excess. Okay, and there we have it. We are finished. I snipped and singed off the excess paracord. And uh, you can see there, knots are tied nicely. And the great thing about this design, as I mentioned earlier, is you can interchange or you can change out the mid cord because paracord does tend to wear out and kind of get flat. So sometimes you want to either change the color or um, put some fresh cord in there. And the great thing about this is you can just take it out because these beads are self-contained. So that is super awesome. All right. So again, huge shout out to uh, Main Stringing. Go check out his um, Instagram feed. Um, he does some really cool, creates some really cool stuff in terms of paracord and skill toys. So um, yeah, that is it guys. If you like guys, if you like this video, feel free to hit that like button. If you're not already, feel free to subscribe if you want to see more content like this. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you on the next video.